Welcome back to PC Today. I'm Haley Hall, and here with me is Amanda Blackwell. Now we're going to be taking you into the world of crafts. Here are some great ideas that you could make easily in your college dorm room. These are also very great and inexpensive gifts that you could give to your friends and family. Great, because I'm on a budget and I've been looking for things to give to my friends. <laughs> I think we're all on this uh, <laughs> budget. Right, yeah. But um, I think we are going to start off by taking this simple mason jar that I bought here at Walmart, our local Walmart. I also bought um, the fabric here at Walmart and um, it was very cheap and expensive. Um, so to start off with making the mason jar, to make it decorative and fun and holiday <laughs> spirit, you take the fabric and you cut a square like this, okay? So I'm gonna have you do it. Take the okay. square, and it is, yes, and then put it on, and then just exactly, <laughs> very simple and easy. It takes probably five minutes. And look how cute it already is. Yep, <laughs> and there's the decorative mason jar. But some people feel weird by just giving your friends and family a simple mason jar with a piece of fabric on it. <laughs> I get that, that's fine. So we added a little thing, Amanda. But okay. So we have cocoa powder here because who doesn't love hot chocolate? So you just take it back apart and you can add the cocoa powder into it. And you can just add any cocoa powder? Any kind that you like. Nestle is my favorite and I also got it here from Walmart so it's just kind of what I chose. Mm -hmm. and then after you add your cocoa powder, you can add whatever toppings that you like and I'm not real crazy about many toppings, so we just have a few big marshmallows we're Yum. going to add. <laughs> add into the jar, and it just looks really like pretty, because everyone just loves hot cocoa and marshmallows for the holidays. Well, the thing is, I don't really like hot cocoa that much. Nope. I mean, I like the marshmallows, but not the hot cocoa. So I also, um, you could also make reindeer food. And what I did here was also the fabric, so it's not just the plain mason jar. I took some of my favorite yummy treats. And uh, here, I'll have you make it, Amanda. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start off by putting um, peanut butter M&Ms and... Um, uh, Raisinets? Yes, oh. exactly, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so put as many as you like in there. Okay. Hopefully more M&Ms get in there than the Raisinets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, now take the Frosted Cheerios that we bought also at Walmart in here. than it looks. Yeah. Okay. I also put popcorn. <laughs> okay. Very butter popcorn. Yes. <laughs> and do it easier around. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then pretzels. Some people like pretzels, some people don't. <laughs> and safe room for pretzels. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now all you do is just put the fabric back on here. Here's some more fabric. And then close it. And this is the finished product. It's so cute, reindeer mix. <laughs> and just like that, you've got like three to four easily gifts that you can give to anybody in your family. And they can always do something with it. After they're done, they can just take it out and snack on it. You always have the hot cocoa. And one year, someone gave me white hot chocolate, and I have yet to use it because it smells so good. <laughs> I mean, it is so good. I just well, haven't made it. <laughs> if you're watching your weight like I am, I can't eat sweets like this. <laughs> so what I made was a wreath that you can hang on your door. And how to make this is you also know how to make it, right? Yeah. So do you want to explain it to them how to make that? Yeah. You can get these candy canes from Walmart, just like <laughs> everything else, and they're not <laughs> expensive. And you take two candy canes and you put them together like this and you just hot glue them together and then you get a piece of styrofoam and you all glue them down to the middle of the styrofoam and then you have yourself a fancy little wreath and, and what I did was instead of a simple string because I wanted to make <laughs> it even more festive um, I took the fabric that we already bought and um, just tied it together and so it could just hang like this you can easily hang it on your dorm door now mm -hmm. And I, may, I had a regular wreath last year, and it was just so messy, and I had to vacuum it almost every day. So this is perfect. I'm so excited to use it this year. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, that about does it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in to PC Today. I hope we taught you a little something on today's show, and hope you spread the joyfulness from all of us here on PC Today. Have a great day.